Hey, this is Dr. Darren Schmidt. Use this calculator to determine how much fat you can lose and how much muscle you can gain based on your macronutrients and the protein to energy ratio. Protein is one of the three macronutrients and it sustains and maintains the structure of your body. The other two macronutrients are the energy, that's carbohydrates and fat. With this calculator, you can increase and decrease the fat, protein, and carbs. So in this example, I'm going to take the protein all the way up to 50 grams. And you can see the purple arrow is right here. So this is pure whey protein. This is pure egg white. That's all protein, no fat, no carbs. Let's increase the carbs. That purple arrow starts to drop down. And the green area is fat loss, and the red area is fat gain. So the more energy you take in, that's the carbohydrates, that arrow starts to drop down. Add in some extra fat, and now it's down to here in the fat gain area. If you were to take in some fiber, raise the fiber up, that purple arrow climbs up. Let's do a high carbohydrate, low protein, lower fat meal. And look, there's the arrow. It's in the fat gain area. So I looked up some foods, and I'm going to show the macronutrients of these foods. So 6 ounces of beef is 45 grams of protein. And it's got zero carbs. So let's bring that all the way down. It's got zero fiber. And the fat is at 25 grams. So there is beef. Look at that. The arrow goes straight to this. And it is a fat loss area. The next food is 5 cups of tossed salad with no oil. So the protein is 2.6. It's very low. We'll make it 3. The fat grams is 0.4. We've got to round it down to 0. The carbohydrates are at 5. And the fiber is at 3. So there's that purple arrow. And it's at cruciferous vegetables. Now the purple area here, that's maintenance. So 5 cups of tossed salad will help you lose weight. The question too is satiety. How long can you go between meals without food? And the five cups of salad is not very satisfying as compared to ground beef or a steak. The next food is whole wheat pasta. So whole wheat pasta has eight grams of protein in it. The fat grams is at 2.4. The carbohydrates are at 34. And then the fiber is at six. So there's that purple arrow. It's in the brown section, the potatoes, whole grains, and nuts. Fat gain. So whole wheat pasta will make you gain weight because there's too much energy, fat, and carbs relative to the protein. How much energy do you have to, does your body have to swim through to get to the protein to maintain the structure of the body? Now I came up with two examples of meals. The first meal is five ounces of salmon, six stalks of asparagus, two cups of tossed salad with two tablespoons of olive oil, one slice of rye bread, and then half a cup of cake with fruit. The protein is at 43. The fat grams is at 42. The carbohydrates are at 34, and the fiber is at 5. So the purple arrow goes here because the carbohydrates are too high with the cake and the rye bread. The last meal I want to show you is iceberg lettuce, chia seeds, sautéed vegetables, and gyro meat. This has 41 grams of protein, 35 grams of carbs, 69 grams of fat, off the chart, fibers at 35, and the purple arrow is right here at maintenance. Gyro meat is surprisingly fatty. So if you go on this and start experimenting and you have high protein meals and you decrease your fat, you decrease your carbs, and watch that purple arrow start to come up, you can increase your fiber, eat more salads, or you have no salads with no carbs, and you decrease your energy intake with fat, then you can see what's going to happen with your body. So initially when you get into ketosis, you can have your protein very high, you can have your fat very high, and the arrow drops down to here. Keep your carbs low, even if they're below 20 grams. This is processed meat, that's cheese. And you can have some salad, increase your fiber, and then your arrow will be in this area right here. And then you're, now you're in ketosis after about two weeks or six weeks, and you're burning fat. Drop your fat intake like this, and watch that purple arrow go up. Now you're burning the fat off your body. If you're an athlete, you want to eat more fat so you can burn the fat that you're eating. 
And if you've been storing fat for many years and you want to get rid of that off your waist or off your hips, then you decrease the fat in your meals and your body starts burning the fat that you're carrying around. 